Today we are making a delicious dish of blackened cod with a garlic yogurt alioli. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking for a dish that has an insane amount of flavor, is easy to make and done in under 30 minutes, this is your dish right here, folks. Seriously, we are talking a blast of flavors between that blackened cod and that garlic yogurt alioli that just kind of soothes it all out. This is a flavor bomb absolutely delicious, plus it's gluten-free and it's very healthy. Now to make this recipe, I'm gonna be using a cod filet that I bought frozen and thought out just to make things cheaper. Uh, the secret when using frozen fish that you thought you wanna make sure you pat it completely dry with paper towels, remove any of that extra liquid inside the fish, it gives it a beautiful texture and flavor. Also speaking of flavor, make sure you use a good quality extra virgin olive oil. This is what's gonna help flavor that cod and the garlic yogurt alioli. For this recipe, I'm using an extra virgin olive oil from Wild Groves. These guys are located in beautiful Northern California. I'm using their Ascal extra virgin olive oil. This one's certified extra virgin from the state of California and it's their olive oil that's won the most awards guys. Intense and fruity aroma and an incredible balance of flavors. This is what's going to take this dish to the next level of greatness guys. Get yourself a bottle or two of this. You're going to absolutely love it. Link in the description box below. All right, folks, let's get started. Okay, guys, we're gonna begin by making our garlic yogurt alioli. I've got a container here of Greek yogurt. This is about half a cup. Let's add this into a mortar. Next, we're gonna finely shred in one large clove of garlic. We'll squeeze in one teaspoon of fresh lemon juice. Pour in one tablespoon of this Wild Groves Ascolano Extra Virgin Olive Oil. Season it with sea salt and a generous portion of freshly cracked black pepper. And we're gonna mix this together until everything's well combined. As you guys can see, it comes together really quickly. Once it's well mixed, get in there, give it a quick try. Make sure all the seasoning are spot on. Wow, that tastes absolutely incredible, guys. Let's go ahead and cover this with some saran wrap, and we're gonna set it aside. Okay, guys, for the next step, we're making our blackening seasoning. Let's add one teaspoon of dried parsley, one teaspoon of dried oregano, one teaspoon of dried thyme, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, and for the last ingredient, one teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika. And we're gonna mix this together until it's well combined. And for the final ingredient to prepare, I've got a filet here of cod. This is 400 grams, which is about 14 ounces. Again, guys, I bought this frozen and fully thought it out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pat it down completely dry with paper towels, cut it in half to end up with two filets, and then season them with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And making sure to change the paper towels at least one time to get all that liquid out of the fish. Now we're gonna grab our seasoned cod flakes and we're gonna coat them with a blackening mix. Okay guys, let's start cooking our cod. I'm gonna be using a non-stick frying pan. I'm gonna heat this with a medium heat and then pour in a generous tablespoon of that Wild Groves Ascolano Extra Virgin Olive Oil. You don't wanna use a medium high heat here, otherwise the Extra Virgin Olive Oil is gonna lose its flavor and you wanna keep that flavor so it goes into the cod. Okay guys, after heating our extra virgin olive oil for one minute, you don't want to go any longer. And again, we are on a medium heat, not a medium high heat. Let's add our cod fillets into the pan, skin side up. It's been three and a half minutes since we added our cod fillets into the pan. Now I'm gonna flip them. The thickness of these fillets are about half an inch.
Okay guys, it's been exactly seven minutes since we added our cod fillets into the pan. That is three and a half minutes per side. They should be perfectly cooked. Let's go ahead and remove them from the heat and transfer them into a dish. All right, let's start plating our dish. I'm gonna grab some of this garlic yogurt alioli, transfer it into a small bowl. We'll add our garlic yogurt alioli to the plate with a blackened cod and garnish the dish with a slice of lemon and some fresh chives. Okay guys, our cod dish is done. It smells absolutely amazing in here. I'm gonna cut that cod open that we guys can see what it looks like inside and give it a try. I cannot wait to try this. Here we go. That is so good. First things first is the texture of this cod. It is spot on, guys. Three and a half minutes per sight on a medium heat. Thickness of these fillets, half an inch. Nothing worse than overcooked fish. And as for the flavors, that blackening seasoning is just a punch of flavors. It's an explosion. But then that garlic yogurt alioli kind of soothes it all out. Absolutely amazing. And that extra virgin olive from Wild Groves really shines through, guys. Incredible dish. Easy to make, done in under 30 minutes. Perfect for a busy weeknight or for a relaxed weekend lunch. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.